Hi, my name is Dakota, and in this video I'm going to walk you through how you could use uh, this application uh, to manage appointments as a freelance music teacher who teaches private lessons and also teaches lessons at multiple music schools. Uh, so here's how we would do that. First thing we're going to do is sign in with Facebook. And then we're going to authorize the application to log us in. This is basically just um, giving us, giving the application access to the email address associated with Facebook. That's all it's doing. And now we're logged in and we see the appointments index page. So let's uh, put in a few appointments. So we're going to click the new button up here. And then we'll type in James and we'll set the appointment for Monday at 2 p.m. And we'll leave it at a half hour. That works for $65 at Santa Monica Music. Okay. All right, there it is. All right, let's add another one. Okay, and you'll see now we, we can see that there's a list we can choose of from clients that are already in the system and also locations. But let's add another one. I'm going to put in Amy. And again, we'll do that on Monday. This one will be at 11 a.m. and we'll make it one hour. And for $95. And the location will be Culver City Music. All right, we'll create that appointment. Okay, we got those two in there. Let's add another. Now let's do one with Annie. Again, we'll choose Monday. And this one is going to be at 12.30 p.m. And it's going to be uh, 45 minutes long. So that'll be $75. And then the location will be, uh, let's make this a private lesson. Okay, we'll create that appointment. All right, we don't have a lot of space here, so we're actually going to uh, reschedule James's appointment so we can do that by clicking on it here. And we're going to make it uh, 3 p.m. so we can fit one in between. Update the appointment, and there we go. We got a little window here now, and let's create another appointment with Alex. And on the 13th. And we'll make this one at 1.30 for an hour. And that'll be $95. And this location will also be private. There we go. So now we have some appointments in the system. And now we want to look and see uh, what this did in the other parts of the application. So let's go to locations. All right, now we have a list of all the locations along with a link to the client list. So you can see a list of all the clients that have appointments at that location. And then we have uh, the number of appointments that we've scheduled there and the total value, the total value earned from all of those appointments. Um, okay, so if we want to add like an address to Santa Monica Music, we would click that edit button here and we could fill in the address here and Santa Monica Music Center. All right, now we can update the location and then we've got all the information in here and you could see if we want to create a new appointment at Santa Monica Music, we can just click the blue button and we're on the new appointment page with Santa Monica Music uh, pre-filled. So that's a convenient little shortcut. And then you can also do the same thing uh, with clients. So now we have a list of all the clients here and uh, a link here to create a new appointment with James. And then also this is the same kind of breakdown where this is the number of appointments that we've scheduled with James and this is the total value earned from all of those appointments. Uh, if you wanna add contact info to James, we can click the edit button here and type in some information and then it comes up here and you can also see it in this table here and now you know if you wanted to 
create a new appointment, you can click that button and you go right to a page that has James refilled. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how you can use my appointments manager to keep track of appointments with multiple clients in multiple locations. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed the video and have a great day.